guys welcome back so i know i've been a little m.i.a lately but i have been going to tuesday morning and honestly i have not found anything really like at all so i mean i've gotten like i don't know oh uh, this very last time that i went i did get one dye which i'm gonna show you really quick but that was pretty much it. I got a notepad and um, a traveler's notebook. But I wanted to show you guys this little acetate envelope that I made. And I wanted to show you guys how to make it. So I guess you could pretty much say I have a tutorial. Ooh, look at me tutorial. No, I'm just kidding. I'm so weird at making tutorials. I'm pretty excited about this one. <laughs> I used the um, the Dear Lizzie collection, the She's Magic, and I just think it's so pretty. So I put eyelids instead of the Velcro or anything like that because I just didn't want like that a whole um, glue everywhere. I mean, ignore this. <laughs> I was inspired by this envelope that Target Dollar Spot had. So, <laughs> ignore those. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this is my interpretation of it. And I just think it's cute to put all of your embellies or... Ooh, maybe some rosettes would be cute or shakers to send. So, let me show you guys how I made it. So 11 inches by 12. So it's going to be 12 by 11 inches on one side. And on the 11 inch side, you're going to score at 2 and at 9. So let's see. Gonna score at two. Okay, and then you're gonna score at one inch and ten inch. So you're gonna score at one inch and then ten inches. And then you're going to turn it around on the 12 inch side. And here you're going to score it. So I'm just going to show you here because it's easier on white paper. You're going to score it at 3, at 4, 8, and 9. So I'm going to score it at 3, 3, and 4. Eight and nine. So you're going to score it at three, four, eight, and nine on the 12 um, inch side. So you want to make sure that you score really, really good. To where the acetate is almost bending so it's easy for you to follow your score lines when you fold your score lines in okay so now it's bending now you can totally see them okay so what you're gonna do is now that you can see them a little bent you're gonna cut these two circles that are right here so this is what happens here this way okay so you're gonna cut you got two sir two squares here one square you're gonna cut one square and you're gonna cut this whole top off on both sides so that it looks like this like the white paper and you're actually gonna cut all the way in both squares on each side but you're going to cut one of these squares off at the top. 
Okay, so this is your bottom part of your envelope. So I just cut it here, as you could see. So I have my one flap there. I'm gonna do it to the other side. So once you cut that part, I'm just gonna take my trimmer and I'm gonna cut off the two score lines that are right at the top. Because you're not gonna need those. So you're gonna cut off from here. From this square, you're gonna cut all of this top two inches off. Okay. So I cut those off. So this is my paper right here. You're gonna need three pieces of acetate for the shakers. So you're gonna need two pieces that are three by seven, and then this middle piece is four by seven. So we're just gonna cut those really quick. And I'm just going to cut it a little bit shy of off three, um, just so that it doesn't bother the score line. Like it doesn't get in the score line and it won't fold nicely. I guess I didn't cut anything. Oh my gosh. How did that happen? Because, okay. I guess it's done. Alrighty, so you got three pieces here. So what you're gonna do before you fold it, because then when you fold it, it's kind of hard. Um, you're just gonna sew these, this one here, this one here, and this one here. So I'm gonna do that really quick off camera, and then we are gonna stuff it with our sequins. And what I like to do so that my acetate doesn't move, I like to clip them so I'll clip the acetate so first I'm going to do the bottom so I'll just line it up mm -hmm. and then I will I line it up to this side to the outer part because I want it to fold nicely in our score lines I already have my sequins mix here. And if you need two clips, go ahead and use them. Just take them off as you're getting close with your needle so that you don't mess up your sewing machine. <gasps> oh my God. I just spilled. Oh no, I only spilled a little bit. Holy mackerel. Okay. Let's sew this. Do you need to set a timer? Oh, I need to turn off the machine. <laughs> okay, I'm like, why won't it go? So this is how it should look. So it's nice and stitched and it moves around. I decided to put glitter in there and um, I don't know if I like that idea. So now what you're gonna do is make sure, well actually, no yeah, now you're really gonna fold down your lines here. You're gonna to want to crease these really, really good. So let me see here. So make sure you're folding it on the crease line and then make sure you bend it downward really, really good.
Okay, my phone died. But anyways, um, yeah, so like I was saying, just make sure you bend these really, really good. And then this one as well. And this one. So now what I'm going to do, because this is going to fold like this. So let me, this folds inward like this. And then this folds like this. So the little flaps, if you could see, they go on the inside like that. So what I decided to do was I went in with my sewing machine and I sewed like that. It barely catches it like the littlest, but it's the perfect amount. So if you could see here, see those little stitches there? So I stitched it and then the only glue that I used was here for the little flap. Just one dot. I made sure my hot glue was super, super hot, my glue gun. I put a little dab on, and then I stuck it really fast. So, that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to make sure these little flaps are in. And I am going to sew it right there. And make sure you guys move this sequence out of the way from one side. And then when you sew on the other side, make sure that um, you don't sew on the sequence or else it's not going to move. Sew right there. Perfect. I'm going to sew right there really quick. So once you have it like this, you could totally leave it like that. But it's still not secure yet. So if you bend it here, it still pops open. So this is why I take my hot glue gun. And I glue a tiny little piece, so I lift this corner up, stick my glue gun in there, and then with my finger, I go in and I, I glue it really quick. So I glue that part, so see, it doesn't look so bad, a little bit of hot glue on the side, but more or less, the front is done. So now you're really going to uh, bend these corners here. And then this corner here. So I accidentally stitched a little bit bigger here than here, but that's okay. Um, it's still, it does not look bad at all. So then what I did was I put an eyelet on. If you're going to put like a little closure here or a heart or something like that, that'll be super cute too because it'll cover it. Only that my Velcro, um, you can try sewing the Velcro on um, because when I stuck my Velcro on acetate with hot glue, it did not work. Unless you're going to use like super glue, but then I wouldn't recommend that either because it turns the acetate a different color. So, I mean, whatever you guys decide, you guys can even leave it like this and wrap some cute little tool around it, but... I am going to go in and put an eyelet on it because I really like the way it looked. So now, so what I did for the ribbon so it wouldn't come out, I just put a little jump ring in there and it just holds it nicely in there. So let me grab my jump ring and I wonder what kind of ribbon I should use. Hmm. For ribbon, I'm going to go in with this color. So I just did that. The little jump ring is in there. You gotta have glitter everywhere. <laughs> okay, so now the little jump ring is in there. So all we're gonna do is put it through. So this is the closure. 
Now you're just going to take it here. And I left quite a bit of slack so that when the person I'm sending it to, you know, when they open it, obviously they're going to have to pull out the ribbon. It's not so hard for them to, to open it or loop it through again. But yeah, guys, so this is my little interpretation. I'm sorry that, you know, my video was all over the place, but this is my first time. And I hope you guys like this idea. I am going to be sending some goodies in here. Look at how cute they are. I kind of like this sequence better, huh? This is like too much. I'm not going to use any more glitter. Glitter and shakers is not my thing. I don't know why I did that. Guys, okay. The dye that I bought at Tuesday morning, um, it's supposed to come with a, a stamp of some sort. I think it says, yeah, see, so it says matching stamp set available summer mini. So this is the stamp, but I just bought it like this because I was like, oh, well, maybe I could work something out with it. Look at how cute these little flowers are. They are so adorable. Look, I put one right here. I probably should have used a green one, huh? Oh, gosh darn it. Okay, but oh, aren't they the cutest thing ever? You guys definitely need this dye. If you guys love paper flowers, so cute. Look at how adorable. Oh my God. These are going to be so cute in Happy Mail. I'm going to put them in um, the envelope box. But look, that's adorable. So cute, you guys. I just wanted to share that with you. But yes, okay. Sorry for the mess. But now I'm definitely going to be going. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.